Hi, this is Louise from Plant Play, and I'm excited to show you today some different ways you can use our resource scheduler to schedule things on um, resources like tennis courts, as well as to schedule lessons on tennis courts. So right here, we have a demo account set up, and you can see we've got some different things in here with um, the ability to having non-availability. Um, so these are blocked out times. The green indicates that the courts are available. Um, you can each one of these can have different availability. You can also turn the courts on and off if you need all of a sudden to shut a court off and you don't want it to be booked at all. You have the capability of doing that. Um, these little blue icons are going to show you that someone's checked in. Um, and then you can get to like any of their contact information by just hovering over each one of them. If you wanted to search for somebody, um, you can do that too. So there's the ability for you to search in here either by... Um, you typing in the name or so if you wanted to look for this particular user, um, you can find them very quickly because maybe they've booked in a future date and you're not on that date and they're looking for something um, when they come to the desk to make sure that they're scheduled properly. Um, you can you can do that. We also have the ability to you can switch this up and you can see like there's outdoor tennis courts, equipment, pickleball courts, cover courts. Um, so as you switch those around, each of each schedule for each one of those comes up for you as well. Really cool feature is your ability to drag and drop in here. Um, so if you need to move things from one court to the other, uh, very easy to do so by doing that. Um, you saw me just drag from one place to another. You can also change times by dragging to a different time. So it makes it very easy for you to do things um, and keep everything in sync. So we're gonna take a look quickly at one of my favorite features, um, which is how you can schedule a lesson and then it also has you choose a court. Um, so we'll come over here and we'll schedule some time with Rob. Just dragging down there brings that up. You select private lesson and it knows already that you need to select where that lesson will occur. So it's going to give you the available courts. So we'll choose court eight um, and we'll put on, let's see, we'll put on Katie. And we'll also put on another person called Rita. Um, so we'll put both these people, you can put as many people on as you'd like to. Um, so Katie, let's see, we'll put Katie in as a private lesson and we will put Rina in without billing. Um, so it makes it very easy to schedule a lesson from the front desk perspective. Again, your users can access the same thing from the mobile application if you've allowed them to. Um, so you can turn your services um, and resources on and off from booking either from the back end or um, from the mobile application as well, mobile application or web. Um, so that's a very quick overview of how you can schedule something like a lesson or a service um, that is associated to another type of resource like a court.